There are so many people who just don't have drive anymore. I'd rather sit around and complain about the circumstances of their life. Oh, I got it so tough. Feel sorry for me. I'm just one of those people. Like, if you don't like it, then do something, do about, something it. about it. <laughs> At the end of the day, we only have one life. What are you gonna do, just sit around and complain for your entire life? Or are you gonna apply yourself? Have some drive, make something freaking happen. I could sit here and complain about picking up other people's trash and feel sorry that, oh, I can't believe I have to do this. This sucks. Complain, complain, complain. Or I can just clean it up, get it done, make my warehouse look primo again, and then move on. I've always liked the, uh, the saying, yeah, you can wait for opportunity to knock, or you can just build the freaking door. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm the guy who builds the freaking door. So I'm not sure if you figured this out yet by watching the vlog, but I am not a morning person. But very often I have to wake up early, and uh, today's one of those days. I'm going to my greenhouse business leaders at 7.30 a.m. I always love that meeting. And then I have to go to a chamber board of directors meeting this morning at 9. It's going to go from one meeting to the next. And, uh, and then it's off to work. Got a full day at the shop. So it's going to be a busy day, fun day. Let's go. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. What are you working on? Right now, I just found out that this kid uh, brought his key in last week. And apparently, someone didn't let me know that. So typically, like, if they don't have the key at Pecos, like, we tell them bring it in and they'll drop it off with us and we already have a key tag assigned to it. But what seemed to have happened is someone brought it, their key in and we made a new key tag. So now I need to find out which which key in the box is theirs. Would it be quicker to just check what, key, what scooters these all belong to first? Probably quicker just to check on the scooter, honestly. Yep. goes in. I really hope this is one of the last one you try. Thanks. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Oh my god, the very last piece. So, I got the new key tag, so now next step is just to make sure that on the paper and in light speed, the new key tag is written in there so that we know where it is. Doing a first service here. These don't typically take too long. Two. Two, they don't come off. We right, check tire pressure, then we're gonna do all the electrics. Now we're just going to take the tire pressure, wipe it down, turn it back to our customer. Brad, did you work part time at here before Vallejo? I can't remember. Yeah, so I've been around for quite a while. I went to school at Santa Fe for two years before I actually went back to Texas. And during that time, Colin was really small still. He was over on, um, he had already moved over to 14th Ave. Um, but I was just doing this basically on my, my part-time, just coming in doing walk-in services for them. Mm. So that's really where I got my education for the oil and then after I graduated in, in San Antonio, I moved back, got a what job that, that I, that was 2011, but then I worked in Tampa for a couple years I, and basically a cubicle and this is the furthest thing from a cubicle yeah. <laughs> and I, I really just didn't like sitting in a box yeah. all day. So, um, so I came back and really just got a lot more experience and now I feel like I really kind of know the whole industry a lot better. Yeah. Perfect. See right where it cuts off? It's yeah. right at the line. Nice. So after you do 100,000 oil changes, you get it perfect. <laughs> What's wrong with that one? This one has a problem with the rear tire. It's very obvious. <laughs> they have run over some kind of yeah. It's not really a nail. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely punctured the tire. So I got a battery that's ready. It's probably ready to go. Yeah. I got to get this rear tire done. I'll get this started right now. Uh, tires are pretty quick, so I like to get them done. It's like multiple chrome tabs in your head, yeah? 
Yeah, it's always just, I don't want to forget about anybody. That's my biggest thing. It's like, try to start taking on, start wow. taking on too much. And then we got scooter purchases in the middle of it, too. Yeah. One, two, three. Whiskey! Congratulations. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. Be safe out there. I wanted to show you this. This is kind of funny. The thing we didn't know what it was. The key? It looks like a key of some kind. Like they ran over a key that was in the road or something. That definitely looks like a key to something. So that's one I've never seen before. <laughs> but we got our tire off. Should be easy now. This one I'm gonna get with my hands because it's just going pretty easy. Yeah. And we're gonna get a little get pressure until we hear two pops. Here it is. And we have a tire again. This is the fun part. I like to pretend I'm in NASCAR. Just wanna make sure it's nice and tight on there. Alright. It's done. Just gotta throw the exhaust back on. So now we want to do the test, make sure it's quiet. That sounds real good. All right, so that is very dangerous right there. Keeping your own title in your scooter means if someone steals this, they can sign it over to themselves. So I'll probably make a note on his, on his invoice to make sure they know that. 1917, so another thing here. So this person's actually due for his oil change. So it's not quite done yet. I, since it's at 1917, I'll leave the scooter on the lift. It's about 600 miles overdue. So like we said earlier, you don't want to neglect your oil. So I'll give them a quick call and see if they want to get that done while we have it. Maybe we can finish that up too. But... Good afternoon. This is Brad over at New Scooters for Less. I just wanted to give you a call. We are done servicing your scooter in regard to the tire, but um, I just noticed that your mileage is at 1917. And uh, you're, we showed that you were due for an oil change at 13.33. Just wanted to see if you wanted to knock that out while we have it. Um, it'd be an additional $30 on top of the tire. Um, just give me a call back and let me know what you'd like to do. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. And then I'll also send them a text just to see if they can respond a little quicker. Mike, are you prepping this one too for... This one's sold. Oh. I sold this one on... What day is it? Yes, I sold this one on Tuesday. Being delivered up in Fernandina Beach. Cool. Yeah. All right, hopefully, we got a strong lead on that one. So Brad and I will go riding together and uh, make sure everything's good with them. I'll throw this cover back on, see if we can get this thing started. Big Brad's eating something, nigga. Mm. <laughs> <Weird sounds>. Really? <laughs> he doesn't know it's on. It's like... I just think I should include it all. I should yeah. include it. I recorded it. Include the audio for Brad while recording me. <laughs> as, as we laugh, as we laugh at Brad eating something in his mic. <laughs> What's he budging on? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's coaching time. Here's the deal. So if your kids get involved with it, not everybody's dad did. I got pictures of my wife with a video camera and one hand coaching third base because I couldn't get any fathers to help. Dang. And your kids will never forget dads out there coaching. That's it. Not only coaching, but building winners. <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Good luck. Thanks. Alright, sounds Hi, good. Thank you, man. Have a good Appreciate one. It. Oh, gotta do my other job. I haven't touched parts at all today.
So basically, I pull up the parts ordering. These are all the people that are waiting on parts. And these kind of just tell us what's going on and whether the scooter's here or not. Like, this one's actually done already. I can archive her. Um, so yeah, it tells me whether it's a warranty claim, whether it's just something I'm filling in that we're missing from our, from our parts for stock, um, whether the scooter's here or not. If it's red, the scooter's not here. So this scooter works. They're just waiting on a minor part, like mirrors. This one's mirrors. Um, same, same here. Um, front, a front cover. So our scooter's probably got a cracked cover on it right now. She just wanted to replace it. This one right here is here. Um, directional pull and bearings. Most of the time you can't drive a scooter that doesn't drive straight. So we'll keep that one here while we wait for the parts. All right, so the Honda is gonna be Abby. So it's gonna be these two parts, the brake cable and the lever. So I'm gonna come out here to our board. All other parts, meaning things, scooters that we don't carry. Um, Abby's on here, so I'm just gonna grab her SRO, her work order. Now her scooter's not here, so I'm just gonna put the parts with it. I'll call her and say they're here so she can come and bring her scooter in, knock it out, try try and knock it out tomorrow. Good evening, this is Brad over at New Scooters for Less. I'm just trying to reach Abby and let you know that the parts that we ordered for your Honda Metropolitan have come in. If uh, you wanna swing by, we can try and knock that out for you tomorrow. Just drop off the scooter for maybe an hour, two hours, and we can try and get it done for you. All right, thanks so much, you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Now that I've notified her, I'm going to just stick it right here on the parts cart. Perk her up. Then when she comes in, grab her SRO. It's already ready to go with the parts on it. Try and get it installed. So when I'm clicking on this, I'm just pulling up uh, each individual um, scooter or part that, you know, this goes with this scooter. Mm -hmm. So I'm just pulling up Garrett. This is his starter relay that we had to order for his scooter. And uh, came in, I ordered this on 926. It came in on 928, so it's a two-day turnaround. That's not bad. Um, I'll just go ahead and I'll drag this over to give into tech. I'm just going to grab this work order off the board and then I'll find the tech that's working on it. Go hand it to him and tell him to get this done tomorrow, if possible. I mean, a lot of times techs get backed up with, uh, you know, approvals that they already have. So, um, you know, this is a pretty big approval. Just this battery, fuel pump is the biggest thing. And then this starter relay that you're just going to plug in. So. Um, this should get done pretty quick as long as, um, you know, someone, Diego, has time to do it. So we'll see. Uh, we'll at least pass it off to him. All right, Diego. Start a relay for uh, that Mizumo. Oh. This is for Shane. Part Shane. Aha! So the rest of this should be stock. I think I ordered a bunch of buddy throttle cables. I think we were really low on some of this stuff. So I just kind of wanted to stock up just in case we have any of these come through. We don't have a whole lot of buddy throttle cable snap in my opinion. I mean, compared to the Chinese stuff. And this is some more top end rebuild stuff that I bought just as extra. So this is gonna be stock. I can actually wait on going through this. This is the stuff that uh, Time consuming but really important. Yeah. You know, I've kind of fallen behind just because I've been trying to help more with service and getting our three week wait down. It's been really beneficial though because I've learned a lot just by trying to do more. Because start working on something, you can't figure it out, then you ask somebody and they start helping you, and then all of a sudden you know how to do something else. So the next time that comes in, you can knock it out. Well, tomorrow's Friday. The Gators playing Saturday. We got tickets. We're going to the game. Nice. Yeah. So hopefully we win. And we'll see you next time on the next episode. See you. Exciting it.